I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for NoBSCoachingAdvice.com and JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. You know, I was thinking this morning about a workshop that I attended many, many years ago that Tony Robbins gave. And in it, he, he spoke about a, a Stanford University research study where people are sold to in a number of different ways. So for example, if you watch a TV commercial and you see the classic commercial, matter of fact, let me just state what the ways are. There are belongers, emulators, achievers, societally conscious and needs driven individuals. And when you look at advertising, you can see they all kind of fall into one of these five categories. A belonger is someone who wants to be a part of something. So those are the classic beer commercials where everyone's sitting around the bar having a good time, laughing and joking. They want to be a part of something. There are the achievers who, they know they're successful, you know, and, and they want to be sold to in an understated kind of way. There are certain products that are geared toward that. And then there are the emulators who want to be like the achievers, but they're too young and don't make enough money. So they tend to be sold to through, uh, sold to, uh, to via sex. So every commercial where you see a leg, you know, getting out of a car, or you see someone uh, who's great looking, staring at you on the camera, it tends to be an emulator commercial. Societally conscious is where I'm going to focus on today. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll just simply say, societally conscious people don't want to be sold to. It's like, give them information and you know, just give me the facts. Stop selling please. And the internet is a, is a great service delivery me mess messenger for societally conscious individuals. Needs driven, don't have a, a lot of money, you know, uh, I'm poor, there are products for them as well. That's not the focus here. It's about societally conscious. When we operate at work, we kind of deal with people as though, don't ask me for anything. This is what your job is. And shut up and just do it. And we don't say it that way. We just have expectations and treat them like they work in a factory, even though they sit at a desk uh, at, at their office, at, at your office or your, your office building or at their home office. You treat them like disposable individuals who are going to be measured, analyzed, evaluated, critiqued, and punished uh, you know, as, as though they worked in a, a 19th century factory. Don't believe me? Just look at how you deal with them on a day in and day in basis. Do you really care? Or are you more worried about what your boss is going to think of you unless your people do something in particular? Most of you, if you're honest, conduct yourself with that factory mentality. We are all worried about the boss upstairs looking down and penalizing you if your people don't do what they're supposed to be doing. And the issue comes down to how do you relate to them? How do you interact with your people in a way that makes them want to not be factory workers or information workers or whatever kind of, you know, 21st century robot drudge that you're turning them into? And I'll simply say, you're functioning like a manager. And that's the big mistake. You're managing behavior. And as such, instead of managing, I want to encourage you, encourage you to lead, to inspire, to get them excited about their work again. How do you do that? I don't know your office, so I can't give you a specific handy dandy way that you can just unzip from a plastic bag, another industrial metaphor there, uh, and, you know, shake up and pour and suddenly everything is fine. You have to be to wake up and do some things differently because otherwise your work is going to be tedious. So is theirs. You're not going to be getting best effort from them. And that's really what you want. For you, you want to feel great about going into work instead of the, the monotony of the bus, the train, the car, the traffic, you know, the what time can I leave today? You want to love what you do 
and enjoy it and delight in it and inspire other people to feel the same way. Don't just treat them like factory workers in the 19th century. It's not working and you got to do it differently or else. Have a great day. Take care.